right guys Jimmy here welcome back to my channel hope everybody's doing well staying safe and enjoying the week so far so today I had a delivery from Zabby and I was a bit surprised by it because I wasn't expecting it not because Zabby had an issue getting it to me it's because the post is struggling at the moment and I didn't think it was going to come until next week but lo and behold about 30 minutes ago I heard the letterbox go and then this bad boy's turned up the Zabby Halloween Kills still book now I've seen this film before and I'm on the fence about it um, they try to cram an awful lot into this film in my opinion I really like the idea of bringing back some of the original cast um, to be in this movie as well and then see how that story played out but um, I just felt it was bursting at the seams where they tried to fit too much into it so I'm looking forward to watching this again tonight because I think maybe my opinion with it will change I've watched a couple of films again recently that the first time I watched them I didn't quite like them or didn't quite enjoy them as much as what I thought I'd done and when I watch them the second time I've enjoyed them a lot more so I'm hoping that this happens with this one tonight so let's take a look at what you get inside Halloween Kills Steelbook from Zabby. Okay guys, so let's take a closer look at the Zabby release of Halloween Kills Steelbook. So I've actually put my other two Steelbooks left and right of it. So you've got the original Halloween and then you've got the later Halloween here that come out a few years ago. So let's take a look at Halloween Kills. So you've got your paper J card with this. Flip it over to the back. So you've got some deleted scenes, gag reel, um, you've got extended scenes on there, so that'd be interesting to watch. And then at the bottom, we've got some languages and some audio. So you've got your Dolby Atmos, which is quite nice. And then let's just take this off. So it's only adhesive holding this on now. So let's come off nice and easy, which is handy. And then there you go. So let's take a look at the artwork there without any J card on it. So the artwork um, fits in quite well, keeping it nice and simple. So this one is a bit more of a glossy finish compared to the last release, which was a bit more of a matte finish. That was everything blues release of it. So I do like the artwork on the front here. That's your side. And then there's the back. And I do actually like the back artwork. I think that is very sinister. So. Um, Again, I prefer the back artwork to the front artwork, really. But that's just my opinion. But no, the front artwork is very nice as well. Let's open it up. Then we've got Laurie in there. And then you've got your two discs. So you've got your 4K, which is going to be your region 3. And then you've got your Blu-ray disc, which I'll try and find out about, actually, what the region lock on that one is. But yeah, so it's just Laurie here. And she's holding a knife. And there's some silhouettes in the background there. But there you go. So nice artwork in the f inside there. Um, nice and simple nothing too much about that on the inside really in my opinion but it's nice and then there you go there's the whole back of it so yeah I must say I like the steel book I like the artwork on it I'm um, looking forward to watching it and seeing if I like it more the second time around and again I just thought I'd show you it with the other two um, it'll be interesting when the last Halloween film comes out now in a few years because the original and then the three following it will tie it up nicely with a bit of luck. But anyway, guys, listen, let me know if you've got any questions. Um, take care, stay safe and see you on my next vlog. If you can, give us a like, give us a sub and that would really help me out. Listen, take care, stay safe.